Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Toyota Camry. We're talking about this generation right here from year 2015, 16 and 17. If you have one of those and you have a problem where the car overheats, we'll explain what you need to check. There is, guys, okay, a couple of fuses that you need to check, special fuses. Also, you will need to check, guys, there is one special relay as well. Uh, we're going to talk about that and what else can cause your car to easily overheat. In some cases, it could be just a simple mistake, but if not fixed on time, you can practically destroy your engine. Stay with us, we'll explain that and how you can fix it. We'll talk where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays, at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time, and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that, guys, will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, engines, transmission, we show you how to do practically almost anything guys. We even do body works. We have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, on Toyota Camry guys, Camry, if you have that generation, we'll be making a video for every single fuse, every single relay. Why we do all that? Due to the fact that if you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where your fuel pump fuse is located because your car cannot start, you can just watch that video, one, two minutes, you replace that fuse, that relay, you're back on the road and you're back in business, guys, because otherwise, if you don't have your service manual, uh, it could be really complicated. Sometimes it's hard to find. There is uh, abbreviations that most people do not know, so we try to make it really convenient for you. Another thing, guys, if you need to buy uh, parts, tools, fuses, relays, okay, you see that you have all these different kinds of fuses, guys, okay? You have different kinds of relays. You have these special fuses, by the way, that look like this one here check this thing out we will put the links in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time so let's start on it now so guys what we have here now specifically we'll demonstrate on this 2017 toyota camry guys if it overheats now there are okay a fuse and a relay that you will need to check a special one we'll need to open the tra uh, the, the hood excuse me first once you open the hood, you face the engine on the right side. Here you have a fuse box under this cover right here, guys. Go ahead, open it. And once you do that, you will see the engine, fuse box, and the layout just like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so if the car guys is overheating you need to check the radiator fan fuse first the radiator fan fuse if you look at these two fuses those are special fuses those are multi-block fuses they have many fuses built in one for instance okay you uh, we will need okay the little one right here on top so when we open the side view of that fuse it will look just like this one you can see it has one two three four five six fuses building it the fuse that we'll need to check that first fuse right here that's for the radiator cooling fan right here if one of those burns you have to replace the whole fuse block that's bad news good news we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time now the relay for the radiator fan is that orange brownish relay right here that you need to check as well. If the radiator fan doesn't work, the car sooner or later will overheat. Other things that can cause the car to overheat easily could be being low on coolant, thermostat that is stuck close or even stuck open sometimes malfunctioning, bad thermostat, bad coolant temperature sensor not sending the correct information to the engine computer how hot your engine is guys, bad radiator fan, if you worked on something like replacing radiator thermostat that require draining the coolant, you will need to bleed the cooling system. If you do not bleed the cooling system, you may end up having an air pocket inside the engine that will prevent the coolant to flow freely. As a result, the car can easily overheat as well. So, uh, guys, bleed your cooling system if you did some uh, something that required draining the coolant. 
other things you hope it's not the case but in some cases it could be bad water pump or it could be guys uh, bad head gasket hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time